Welcome to today's workout. Today's workout is all about legs. So it's not a jump up and down, hit cardio leg workout. It is a slow, controlled, strengthen and tone up leg workout. We're gonna do a warm up and we're gonna do basically the stretching as we go along throughout the workout. Now the workout involves blocks of three exercises. There's one common exercise in each block, which is basically the wall sit. Now there's two exercises on repetitions and then there's 30 seconds of a wall sit. And we're doing six individual blocks. After each block, we're gonna do a stretch as well in between the blocks. So it's a combination of repetitions and timed wall sitting and then timed stretches. You need a couple of chairs, you need a broomstick, maybe some water, and a timer for the stretching and the wall sit. So, take your time, it's all about legs today, and let's go for it. Okay, so let's start with our warm up first of all. We're gonna walk on the spot. The warm up is a bit different. The warm up doesn't involve any stretching at all. It's just gonna be some pulse raising and some mobilizing, and what is called dynamic stretching, where you're basically gonna mobilize the joints and move the muscles in a dynamic controlled way so walk nice and brisk if you can toes and heels kick nice and upright i won't do too long a warm-up because the leg exercises are going to be quite tough today and you'll soon build up your warmth throughout the leg workout legs are large muscles and they build a lot of heat so don't worry and when you always do any strength exercise you should always think about the first one or two repetitions building up your range of motion, not going too deep first of all, just to make sure your, your joints and muscles are accustomed to the exercise to minimize the risk of injury. So keeping your legs going now, which is to drop your head down, forward, and then come back, but not too far. And in your own time, go forward and back, keep your legs working. For some people that's coordination is too much, so you can stand still if you need to, but ideally keep your legs working, keep your arms pumping. Head forward and back. Now keep your legs working, twist your head, so to the side, rotate other side. Shoulders back and go side to side with your head in your own time. Keep working these legs, get your body temperature up and go side to side. Now come back in the center, drop your ear down to your shoulder on one side and other side. Just mobilizing in your own time, going side to side and keep the coordination going of your legs working at the same time. I've got to talk at the same time then. Keep this going. So now, keep your legs going. Circle your right arm bent backwards. Just go nice and gently. Keep upright and of course keep breathing. Now your left arm goes backwards. That's excellent, keep nice and upright. Good, elbow goes back, driving up. Now let's do the arm curls just for the elbow joints. Remember mobilizations are really just um, moving the joints and getting the joints nice and loosened off, ready for exercise. Alongside, in this case, some pulse raising. Now both arms go backwards. Just circle backwards, keep the body nice and upright, keep your tummy in, keep breathing. Now change direction, both arms go back first and then forward, keeping them slightly bent, like a butterfly motion if you're swimming. Good. Place your legs apart, bend your knees, link your fingers, and just rotate side to side, what is called a body twist, just for your top of your back. Then from there, place your hands on your knees, bend forward, horizontal and then come back. I'll show you side on. So go forward and backwards. And if you can lean slightly back, go forward and backwards. Forwards and backwards. One more, forward and backwards. Place the legs bent still and go side to side. A side bend, hands go up the body, legs are slightly bent, side to side. Good, now from there, gently just bring the legs together. One knee comes up to the waist height, other knee and alternate with your hands with the side. Just a single standing alternate knee lift. Good, then turn if you can to bring your heels flicking behind, like so, just a heel flick for your knee joint. Good, now just place your legs half a shoulder width apart, hands on knees and just bend your knees over the toes and back. So a knee bend, knees over toes and back. Just gently, knees over toes, keep your heels on the floor. Good, and then come back. Now think, bring your knee up, but this time bring your knee up to the side and rotate your knee in. So let's choose your left side. Knee comes up and then comes in. Same side, up and in, comes up to the side and rotate in 
up and in one more comes up and in other side right side comes to the side and rotate in side and in so circular motion and in two more comes outside and in one more side and in good so okay just on the toes push up and down like a little standing calf raise just to warm up the ankle joint just a few seconds good and now we'll do both arms circle backwards good a couple more and both arms now go backwards and forwards good okay now I think from there bring it into a little bit of a jog on the spot toes and heels it's good keep toes and heels gonna do in a moment it's a bit more mobilizing um, also often what we're going to do now is called dynamic stretching so we'll do some dynamic stretching where you're working the muscle fairly quickly but in a controlled way to stretch the muscle a little bit more dynamically rather than statically good just from there now pulling your feet together hands on the side just come in and out in and out just some gentle little jumping jacks nice and relax bend the knees on impact if you don't want to do the impact version you can just literally go gently little bend and in a very very low jump like so so or you can even do step in step out it's up to you but ideally little jumping jacks low to the ground knees over toes a bit of impact is actually good for you generally uh, just not do too much and not too hard a surface for too long so keep it going a few more seconds just have a walk on the spot good let's go back now to grab one of our chairs and bring the chair back in the center okay so, with the chair, we're going to place it now alongside you. Keeping your body upright, what I'd like now is just bring what, the outside leg forward and then come back. But not too far back. I don't need to go too far, you crunch your back together. So hold the chair for balance, go forward and backwards. So nice and relaxed, keep your leg just off the ground. You may want to place your hand on the lower back to make sure you don't go too far with your back compressing. So a small extension backwards is fine. Let your hip open up, so hip extension and hip flexion. Going forward and back, it's nice and relaxed. A dynamic stretch for your hamstrings and your hips. Forward and back, just a few more. Good, okay, exactly the same now. Let's take it sideways, lift up and down. Lift up and down. Just sideways, not too high. Just toes are pulled up. Keep your body nice and upright. Good, now we change the other side. So forward and back first of all. The outside leg goes forward and backwards. Hold the chair for balance. You may want to place your hand on the lower back. Don't fall too far forward. Good, keep your fairly upright. Allow a little bit of movement forward to open the hip up. Good, now the same leg goes sideways and back. Okay, so sideways. Let me show you now side on. So what you're gonna do from there is lift your legs sideways and back down. Sideways, back down, not too high, okay. Just a dynamic stretch for the hips and the groin. Nice and relaxed, good. Good, now we'll hold on to the chair. Feet turned out, about one and a half shoulders apart. And we have the hands on here for balance and just gently lower down a squat position and then come up. Just four more. Goes down, bottom down, back quite straight and then come up. A little bit faster, goes three, like a squat, but four and one last one. Five and come back. Fantastic, good, okay. So, grab yourself a drink if you want, a little sip, and we'll take the first exercise. Now, the first one's gonna be 10 reps. The second one is also 10 reps, and then we go on to the wall sit, which is 30 seconds. So the first exercise is a slow controlled squat. Now we're doing different variations of squats. So the first one, is where you place your hands on your hips. So legs about a shoulder and a half width wide. Depends how big your shoulders are, okay? Maybe a shoulder width. From there, feet slightly turned out, hands on hips, and we're doing 10, we'll do with me. So follow along. We're doing these first of all, then I'll show you next exercise, we go straight into it. There's no rush, then we do 30 seconds on the wall sit. So block one is first of all, hands on the hips, squats 10 times, off we go. So lower down slowly and then push up, one, good. So there's number two, good, breathe. It's three, let the bottom sink down. Build your range of motion up as the reps go on. There's four, good. There's five, five to go. Bend and push, six, last four. Seven, three more, keep going. Eight, last two. 
nine, and one last one is 10. We're gonna do what is called now uh, a split squat, which is where your legs start shoulder width wide, place one leg forward into a lunge position. So it's like a lunge really, but we're gonna go down and back up. So quite wide, your back foot on the ball of the foot, so not turn on the ball of the foot, hands on the hips, and we're literally gonna bend the knee down the front leg, knee goes towards the floor and push up. Nice and slow, off we go for 10 times. So let's go one again and come up. The hands can stay on the hips, is number two. Good, eight to go, keep breathing. There's three, four, good. Five, a split squat. Six, just keep your back straight. Seven, three more. Eight, get a right angle bend of the front leg, two more. Nine, and one last one is 10. Good, and relax, good. Other side coming now. Leg goes forward. Make sure you've got a kind of shoulder width apart, back from the ball of the foot, hands on hips and thighs, back straight, and ease your way on the first two reps. Off we go. So it goes down one and up, good. Let's go down two and up. Three and up. Concentrate nice and slow on the way down. Four and up, working 10. Five, five to go. Six, watch your balance. Seven and up, three more. Lower down slowly, eight and two more. A split squat, nine and one last one. It's 10 and down, good. So let's go to the wall now. Get your clock, I've got my alarm clock down here. Legs about a shoulder width wide. Go down to a right angle bend and hold, if you can, with the hands on your thighs for 30 seconds, off we go. Okay, hold the position. It's your first set of wall sits in block one. If you want to take your hands off your thighs against the wall, it makes it even harder still. Okay, hold that position there for 15 more seconds. Keep breathing, back straight. Quite tough after those two lots of exercises. Last five seconds. Go no more than a right angle down, not too low. And up we come. Good, good. give me a little kick out. First stretch now is a standing quad stretch. So we need our chair again. Let's grab our chair. Hold on for balance. Pull your ankle into the bottom. Let's get our clock as well. Good. And we do 30 seconds. Off we go now. So single leg. Okay, this is the end of block one. So it's not a fast and furious workout, but it builds up and there's different exercises you may not have done before. We'll do 30 seconds on each side of the, of the stretches. So a few more seconds. Other leg is slightly bent. Keep yourself upright. Bring the knee back the one you're stretching it. Stretching the front of the thigh, the quadricep. A few more seconds. Good, changing sides. Good, so pull the ankle in. Other side. Good, basically a single leg thigh stretch. Hold the ankle in. Good, another 15 seconds. Other leg slightly bent, keep upright, pull it in a bit further. Good, okay, great. So, let's take our next set of squats now. The squats now we're gonna do are exactly the same as the first time, but this time we're gonna do with the hands going out. So rather than actually have your hands on your hips, when you go down the squat, you're gonna have your hands out in front of you. Keep your back straight, concentrate on going as low as you can. We do 10 squats, off we go. Start up right, hands out. Right, down we go. There's one there, good, nice and slowly down. Down we go for two, good, eight to go. There's three, good, nice and controlled. Four, concentrate and control movement down. Five, when you come up, squeeze your bottom, the glutes, five more at the top. Is six, good, sink down, arms out in front. Is seven, keep them at shoulder height, three more. There's eight, last two now. Number nine, go down with control, one more. There's your 10th one. The next one we do is a simple lunge, like the split squat, but now we start from the upright position. We're gonna lunge on one side and back slowly, five on each side to make 10. So hands on the hips, shoulder width apart, Front leg goes onto a right angle, back leg on the ball of the foot, off we go. So lunge forward and down, and then push back. Same leg, forward and down. Almost touch that knee in the floor if you can. Three coming, three and back, two to go, good. 
There's four and back, and one last one. There's five and back. Straight in the other side. Lunge forward and then come back, but lower down slowly. There's two and then back. Keep a shoulder width. There's three. Good. Two more to go. Four or five. There's four and one last one. Good. Is five and back. Straight now, if we can, to the wall sit. Get our timer, 30 seconds. Let's go. Round number two, block two, a right angle bend of a wall sit. Ideally, hands on thighs or against the wall. And breathe. Work in your front of your thigh, back of your thigh, the, the hamstrings, and the glutes at the bottom. A bit of core work as well, keep nice and upright. Hold on there, a few more seconds. 30 seconds on each time you come to the wall. This is end of block two with a stretch coming up. A few more seconds, five more seconds. Hold that position there if you can, a wall sit. It may shake a bit, but keep breathing. Slowly come up, good, okay, give your legs a little kick off. Good, okay, let's go now for a single leg hamstring stretch. So now from here, take one leg forward and one leg back, most of your weight's on the back leg. Hands on either leg, lift up tall, chest out, keep your back straight, and then lower down. Off we go, 30 seconds on each leg. Okay, just nice and gently hold the stretch, keep your back nice and tall. Minimize the back rounding if you can. Stretching the hamstring, stretching a little bit of calf, and your lower back and glutes. Just holding. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. Your back leg is slightly bent, but your weight is supporting the back leg, but you're bending forward. A few more seconds. Good. If it releases a little bit, go a bit further. If not, hold it right there. Then come slowly up. Good. Good. Legs a little shake out. Other side now. One leg forward on the heel. It's quite straight, the front leg. Hands either side for support. Lift up tall and then lower down. Okay, so 30 seconds on the single hamstring stretch. End of block two coming up. Just breathing. Stretching the hamstrings. Then we've got another version of squats coming up in a second. Hold that position there. Last 10 seconds. Keep nice and upright with your back. So your back's nice and long. Push your bottom back while you bend forward. Last few seconds. Good and relax. Okay, great. So now let's take our let's take our squat. But now we're gonna need this broomstick, this pole. Okay. We're going to do what's called a back squat. So from here, all you do is place the pole behind your neck on top of the shoulders. Your legs are apart, normal position, feet slightly turned out. I'm going to lower down, keeping your back as straight as possible and the elbows back, called a, a back squat. We're doing 10, nice and slowly. So nice and steady, slowly down, nice and deep, off we go. So lower down and then push up. There's one there. Sink down and then push up. There's two, good. Sink down and three. Open those hips up, good. Sink down, there's four. Keep breathing. This keeps your body nice and upright. There's five, five to go, last five. Sink down, there's six, last four. Go down with control and push and squeeze the glutes. Three to go. Go down and push out. Two more. Goes down, as deep as you can. One last one, knees over toes. Goes down and push out. Good. We go now into the lunge again, but called a reverse lunge. So we start from the upright position. You choose which side. Legs about a shoulder width wide. Hands on the hips. And we're going to basically lunge back on the ball of the foot. Bend the leg and then sink down as low as you can and push back. Stay on the same side. We'll do five on each side. Off we go. So reverse lunge and then come up. Back to the start. And again, same side. Goes number two, and then push back. Keep the width. Number three, and push two more. Number four. Good, and one last one. Control down. Number five. Five, and back straight to the other side. Careful the first one. There's one there for balance and coordination, and come back. Good. Number two, and sink down. Three, four, five. Three, keep upright, and come back. Two to go. Four. Sink down, and one last one, five. Sink down, up we come. Straight to the wall for the third set of wall sits. So, right angle bend, off we go. This gets quite tough after one of the wall sits. 
breathe, shoulders back, tummy in, working all the leg area. Static squat really, a wall sit, holding 30 seconds. End of block three coming up, we've got a stretch for the calves coming up. Okay, holding for 10 more seconds first and breathe. Tummy pulled in nice and relaxed. Just switch off, maybe close your eyes, just hold the position and breathe. Slowly come up. Good. Now we do a wall calf stretch. So both hands against the wall, one leg forward, bend the front leg, back leg straight. So 30 seconds each side. Okay, so place your hands against the wall, one leg forward. This foot is straight and push your heel down. Let's hold that position now. Back straight, pushing the heel down. So stretching the calf muscle. Hold that position. Bend your front leg, your knee goes more bent while you drive the back leg heel to the floor. Hold the position. A few more seconds. Okay, change side. So bend the front leg, push the back heel down while you bend the front leg. Push down and hold. This leg is straight, the front leg is bending and keep your body upright against the wall. Just 15 more seconds, hold that position. End of block three. Three to go. A few more seconds. Last five. Push that heel down, stretch the calf out. Slowly come up. Good. Okay, so now we're back to our bar again. We're going to do now what is called a hands above the head squat, which is tough. So from here, place your feet apart, slightly turned out place this bar now above your head and try and get it so I'll show you side on the bar is not forward the bar is in line with your head or maybe even better still widen your hands to the end of the bar and push it slightly behind your headline and try and keep it there at the same time so tummy pulled in 10 times arms by the head squat off we go goes down and then up one nine to go there's two and back arm straight three and back sinking down four working tens good five five to go come on six last four seven three more to go eight tummy pulled in number nine one last one there's ten and come back good grab your chair now okay we're going to take onto our step ups now so we need a chair not too high but not too low okay Make sure you're comfortable, you're gonna step the whole foot's gonna basically step up. Whole foot's gonna step up onto the chair. Then you're gonna push up, join it, and step down the one that stepped up. So the one that goes up, goes back down. We'll do five each side, off we go. So step up, join it, and step down. Second rep, up, and then step down. Two, whole foot comes in contact. Three, and step down. Two to go, four, and step down, one last one, five, and step back. Other side straight in, step up, one, and join it down, good. Two, three, four, five, come on. So it's three, keep nice and all right, two to go, four, five, four, one last one now, good. There's five, push up and down. Let's go to our wall sit for the fourth time. Grab your clock, 30 seconds, off we go. Okay, right angle bend. 30 seconds on the wall sit, fourth time. Good. Then we're gonna use the chair again for the next stretch, which is basically a hip flexor and quad stretch. It's called a chair hip flexor stretch. And just be careful your balance. We'll get another 10 seconds of this first, holding the wall sit. 30 seconds, hold it there. It's tough now, dig in now. Last few seconds, you must breathe when you actually do a static movement. Then push up, good, okay, so let's grab our chair. I'm gonna put it, it just gets the wall now. Okay, and place your foot nice and high against the chair. Get your knee on the chair, hold the wall for balance, and then front foot flat, just lean back. So you're stretching the hip flexor and the quadricep. Hold that position, we'll do 30 seconds on each side. If you don't feel that, you can lean back further, okay? Be careful not to lean your head back too far, you can hurt your back. So keep your chin down and tummy pulled in, and then you lean back. 
about 10 seconds. A single leg hip flexor and quad stretch with the toes pointed behind you. That's good, hold that there. And release slowly, good. I'm gonna turn my chair around once it's fallen over. Okay. Other side, tuck your foot behind, knee down as far as you can against the actual chair, and then lean back. Hip flexor and quadricep, front of thigh. Hold the position. A few more seconds. Then we're going to start block number five. Hold that position, another 10 seconds. Try and relax the hip. Also, quite a tight stretch on your shin as well, where your toes are pointed. Hold position there. Good, and release it slowly. Good, okay, block five, we start. Grab yourself a drink as well. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. So, let's grab our chair. This one's called a stand-up. We're going to sit down. Come to forward, so you're near the edge of the chair, but not too far. Feet apart, slightly turned out. Have your hands on your chest crossed. And then from there, keep your back nice and straight. Chest out. Rock forward, and then push up. And on the way down, nice and slow. So I'll show, demonstrate one, I'll show you one. Push up, and slowly lower down, just to you touch. The minute you touch, you go back up. So off we go, 10 stand-ups. So rock forward, push, and then lower down. One there, up we go again, there's two. And lower down, squeeze the glutes on the top, the bottom. There's three, and then lower down. Good, nice, control the way down. There's four, and slowly down, good. There's five, keep under tension, five to go. Lower down, up we go, six. The minute your bottom touches, off we go again. There's seven, and three to go. Lower down, good. There's eight, last couple, lower down. Nine and ten. There's nine. Got one last one. Lower down. And then there's ten. Good. And relax you. Good. Okay. So, okay, let's go on to. We need our second chair now. Put two chairs out opposite each other. Have a seat. Slowly place one leg on top, straight. Keep upright. Toes are flexed up. And we're going to lift the leg up, pause, and lower down, light touch only, 10 times. Hold the chair if you need to. So it comes up, and then down, a slow leg raise. Comes up, and then down, that's two, keep going now. There's three, and then down, hip flexor and thigh. Four, also lower tummy a little bit as well, good. There's five, not too fast, slow it down. There's six, last four, good, is seven and three to go, good, is eight, and two to go, much harder, you get slower, number nine, and then one last one, is 10, and relaxing, good, change your legs now. So sit fairly upright in the chair, if you lean forward, it's much easier, but sit quite upright, toes are flexed up, and slow down on purpose, hold the chair, keep upright, chest out, other side off we go, comes one, and then back down slowly and touch, is two, and then back down, eight to go. Straight leg raise, three, and then back down again, good. Four, hips, thighs, and tummy, good. Five, and back down, squeeze on the top. It's six, and back down, four to go, good. It's seven, and breathe, three to go, good. Eight, and last two now, good. Nine, and one last one coming up. It's 10, and relax down, good. Let's go for our fifth time for the wall sit. So, against the wall, 30 seconds, legs apart, off we go. 30 seconds on the wall sit. Good. Rock your wall leg area for the fifth time. Keep breathing on our last block coming up. Almost there now. A few more seconds. Keep breathing. Good. Hold that position now. Last 10 seconds or so. Hold that position. Almost there. A few more seconds. Three, two, and push up. We just clear this area. Good, okay. So. Okay, so now, on to our last block of three exercises. Back to the squat, the hand position, wherever you wish. I'm gonna go for a simple on the hips. 
We're doing a pulse squat, which is where we go down, stay down there for an extra pulse and then come up nice and briskly. So I'll show you first of all, I'm gonna go down, one, stay down, a little bit up, and then two, and then come up, that counts as one. Okay, so I'll show you again. It's gonna go one, up a little bit, two, and come up. So you only come up a little bit, it's still what's called a pulse. 10 times, off we go. So one, pulse, and then come up, good. Two, pulse, and then come up. Eight to go, three, pulse, and then come up, good. Four, pulse, and then come up, good. Five, go down, little pulse, and then come up, good. Six, go down, and then come up, good. Seven, pulse, and go up, good. Eight, pulse, and go up, good. Two more, nine, pulse, and go up. 10, come up, pulse, good, up we come, good. Let's grab our chair again. Now we do a standing calf raise. So from here, keep your body nice and upright. Don't put the legs back here. Nice and upright, your body weighs over your calf. Single leg, tuck one leg behind the other calf. Push up on your toes, squeeze at the top for a moment, and then come down. If you have a ledge, maybe some stairs, you can do it on that even harder. So off we go for 10 times. Squeeze at the top, please. Push one, and back down to the heel of the floor. Two, squeeze right up, really drive up. Three, and then lower down slowly, good. Four, and lower down for 10 times. Five, push up really high, lower down, good. Six, and then lower down, last four. Seven, good, and lower down, three to go. It's eight, last two, good. Number nine, got one last one, is 10 and then come up, other side now, leg goes behind, push up, one, and lower down, good, two, eight to go, good, three, seven more, four, and squeeze up, five, last five, is six, final four, is seven, three to go, good, is eight, last two, good, number nine, one last one, is 10, good, so, we go for our wall sit. I just realized also that I missed out the stretch before, so I'm really sorry, but I'll put it into this one as well. So let's do our wall sit first, for the last time. So get your clock. We lower down now. Right angle bend. Hold it for 30 seconds on the wall sit, the sixth and final time. Hold position there. Good, 20 seconds to go. Good, nice and relaxed. And breathe. Last 10 seconds. Head back. Last five. Holding it down. Good, come slowly up, good. So go straight into now our stretch. We're gonna do a box splits. The legs are apart. We go 30 seconds, legs apart. Use your hands on the way down to lower down. Place your fingertips, if you can, in the center or the flats of the hands. And hold 30 seconds in the center first of all, off we go. Hold position there, the wider you go, you'll find there'll be a better stretch on your inner thigh and your hamstrings. Hold position, try and relax the muscles. Let your arms bend a bit. Hold the center, let it dip. Last few seconds. We're then gonna stay down there and we're gonna leave one hand in the center, bring one hand across and pull your chest towards one leg. So you decide which side. So leave one hand in the center, hold the actual leg itself. So if your left leg, left hand, and then pull your chest down towards that leg. And we'll hold that for 30 seconds. If it loosens off, you can increase that stretch. Keep breathing. A few more seconds. Good, last few seconds now on this side. Single leg hamstring, lower back, bit of groin. Walk your hands over the other side, hold the leg and pull your chest down towards the other side now. Just holding a few seconds. And breathe. Last 15 seconds now, pull that chest down. Good. Okay, come back in the center, bring your legs together, bend your knees, use your hands, come slowly up. We go into one last stretch for the calf. We're gonna go a ledge stretch against the wall. So. Try and get your foot up against the wall, the heel down, and then lift up and then lean forward. You should feel a strong stretch in your calf muscle. Hold that stretch there. Just do a few seconds on each side. A single leg 
ledge stretch for the calf. Other leg can hutch up closer, drive your heel down while you lift up and then lean forward, pushing the heel down the whole time. Change sides, toes go up, heel goes down, lift up and lean forward. Single leg ledge stretch for the calf. Few more seconds. Good, the legs will kick out. So there's one last thing I'd like you to do now. This actually is to make the muscles strong and long. We're gonna go back to holding a stretch position, which is basically the box splits, but placing your hands either on your hips out in front, or what I'm gonna do, which is my preferred version, is place your hands behind your head, okay? So we're gonna basically go as wide as you feel comfortable and you have to judge this based on how you feel the first repetition goes. I want you to lower yourself down, keeping your hands by your head or out in front or by the hips. Lower all the way down as far as you can. And then using your leg muscles and your lower back muscles, I want you to pull your body upright to the upright position and hold. We're gonna do 10 reps. I'm gonna show you one side on now. So your legs are apart in a box split. Your hands are, let's say, linked behind your head. But the legs now ideally, ideally are straight. They're not bent, they're straight. So from there, keep upright. We are lower down, keeping your back long. Bottom will go back that way. Lower down, as far as you feel comfortable. Go down and then come back. Push those feet into the ground and then come upright. So let's go for 10 times. I'll now change my position to the front. Legs apart. Okay, just like so. Hands behind your head, push hips forward a bit, and let's lower down. Off we go, number one. Goes down slowly, and then come back. Up we come, one there, nine to go. Number two, goes down, breathe when you can, and then come up. Good, number three, goes down, right down, and then pull up, good. Number four, comes down, breathe, and then come up. Put your hands and hips if you want to. Still the same motion, five, comes down, and come up, push hips forward, five to go, comes down, number six, lower down, keep control, and right up now, number seven, can almost lean back, comes forward, come up, push hips forward, three to go, let's go down, and comes up, two more to go, so comes down, nine, push up, good, one more, keep the back long and strong, comes down, number 10, come up, good, bring your legs together, good, give the legs a little kick out, and there we have it, so there's a, a leg routine. Now, some of you may have said that's really quite easy. I'm going to concentrate on doing the movement slowly and controlled and through a full range of motion. And again, how can you change it? Well, you can change the repetitions to make them say 20 times. You can put weights in your arms or a barbell, but this is body weight today. You can even go, go a bit faster sometimes on the way up and then slow down on the way down when the muscle lengthens. And also you could double up the time on the wall sit to maybe make it one minute. You're gonna make it a much harder workout. And the stretches, if you prefer, you can shorten them down to 15 seconds each side to loosen off, or equally you can make them longer if you want. So there we have it, there's a leg workout, but more slow and controlled with no impact. We'll get your muscles and bones very strong and your body nice and firm. So I'll see you next time.